Lekker. Mira. Oh my god, you got ripped off again. <laughs> How much was that? You believe it or not, nothing. I stole it. Oh, you stole it? All right, guys, right here is a Porsche wide body. This is actually Chris Brown's. Unfortunately, it was sitting in front of Mr. Nice Guy and at the valet and somebody came and hit it from behind and the front of it hit another car. So the front and back got hit. This car was wrapped a few times. Also the wide body, we didn't do it. It was done at another shop previously. And once we took all the bumpers off, all the material, we noticed the really, really bad quality behind it. There was cracks everywhere. Nothing was aligned. So we're gonna be fixing all of that stuff, all the cracks. We're gonna finally get this Porsche to look like what it's supposed to look. It's gonna be wrapped in red. I think the wheels he wants to do like a color, but that's gonna be a little off. But as far as the body and what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure that thing looks right. And there's a lot of work to do, but once we're done, it's gonna be sick. over here is giving very she's in good shape but always has to do something right? oh. I am Sarkis I run the body shop if you're the brain of the shop that means Rafa shop is this is Moses he he completely blocked the shop because of him we're stuck and he's the brain of the mechanic shop He's saying that Moses brought a car here and the whole shop is blocked. But the body man right now gave his hand a hickey. So everything's messed up here. No, nothing's normal. Drunk, he's like kind of <laughs> in the air flying. There we are, John. What is his neck have to do with yeah. No, he cannot stand normal. Oh. I'm waiting so I can move the car out. His legs are vibrating. Look. Yeah, your legs are fed up. <laughs> At least I'm not an alcoholic. Oh. You have penguin feet. I better have a pink with it than not being alcoholic. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just make it work somehow, some way. <laughs> you can put some screws here yourself. Make some screws, make a hole in it. It's not rocket science. Put it in here, put screw here, and you're done. That's it. One, two, three. Just make it work, okay? This is all we have to work with. We don't, we don't have anything else. Bro, why are you making you guys more complicated? All right, so this Bronco he's ordered wrong part. It's not. He's <laughs> making his coal worker to do a double job. Wrong. Is that true? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so instead of you, so you caused this first problem. All, big order. First, you have Shout to out. order right thing. Okay, big order at the top. First you did order. Mistake. It's not the wrong top. It's not wrong. It'll work. We just have to customize it to make it work. Smoke cigarettes, not do the top work. Be idiot. All you do is sit down and smoke cigarettes. No, that's normal. All right, guys, we are in front of the RDB new wraps and clear bra location. They just broke down that cement barrier right there with the cinder blocks. Very tough. They're using jackhammer and all that stuff. But as you can see, a 12 by 10 gate garage door is going to go there. We have our automatic sliding door ready ready. The sign is coming. They're doing a lot of electrical work in there. It's crunch time. We have a few days to finish this so we can move in a lot of the cars. Like I said, it's about a mile away from our sunset headquarters. So we're super excited about it. We have like this parking lot right here, safe, secure. Like I said, we're not gonna do any body work in there, so it's not gonna be crazy dusty. But yeah, the whole point of this is to alleviate pressure from the headquarters to do more body shop, body kits, paint work, all that stuff. And here it's really gonna be about the wraps and paint protection film and printing wraps from here, all that stuff in a very clean environment. So yeah, we keep moving, we keep expanding, but stay tuned, we're gonna show you more. We're gonna go 
catch him. Moses, because uh, Santos, as you can see, is running. He's trying to hide this from us. But uh, we gave Moses our company van to drive, and he killed the car. <laughs> and there he is. Look at him on the side of the shop trying to fix it before. If you guys didn't know, that is our media van as well. So we needed to film, and he's preventing us from filming because he broke the van. So. At least you're trying to fix it. Yeah, I got stuck this morning. I was trying to get to work and uh, it wouldn't start. You guys can see why this battery is about 45 years old. There is, it's all corroded. There's all this acid coming out of the battery. Very, very bad. I don't know how old this thing is, but we're putting in a new one right now. So uh, we can bring your YouTube videos so you guys can watch it. This is the main thing behind the videos is this van. All the videos are filmed with this van. So if we don't change the battery, there will be no YouTube. The funny thing is, I called the tow truck this morning. So Sarkis was supposed to pick me up. The tow truck got faster to the house to pick up the car and bring it here than Sarkis got to the, to the house to bring me here. Well, it was bad, the battery's bad, huh? It's about the good thing it didn't blow up. Uh, let me uh, honor? Yeah, let me try. Yeah, I did it. We are back in action, folks. New battery, car starts right up. Back to recording. Why do you have so many coffee cups? Times are really tough right now. So uh, you know how some people use these things and they throw them away. I actually use these cups over and over again for a month. Um, and then I just th throw them away. I take the top one home all the time to wash it and I just use it for the same warning. I think it's 100,000 miles. Yeah, we just reached 100,000 miles. Well, I think you should change your battery before 100,000 miles. Probably smart in the Time. You have to put some gas in it. A little bit, just 10 bucks, that's it. <laughs> he, he kills the battery, he doesn't pump gas. <laughs> Worthless. Bro, he He's a spare tire. Like I Bro, he told like $40 yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Half tank. Oh, yeah. And we have a new battery now. <laughs> yeah, we paid for it, by the way. Hey, now how'd you buy the battery? Put it on the tab. Put it on the tab. Who's the tab? I'm go up, I'm aerial. I got the hit stash, got a bracelet for impact. Real tricky, quick to flip a pretty penny to a thick stack, quick stack. Think fast, I give a fuck about how they feel. Me and Zay just dropping propane, and it sounded like massive pill. For my dog, I'ma ride to the wheels kill. Got his hand on the hammer, so they used to lay out in the line just to fit the world spin on his axis. Now I got the access, and the last lap got it off in the past. You just killed it. Me. It's better than yours. Alright guys, standing in front of that beautiful Violet Persa 5 SVJ right here. This car, we put our exhaust system, sounds amazing, no problems with it. Full high flow in the back, no restrictions, no choking out the exhaust. We also returned the ECU file to stock and we are going to be tuning it with VF Engineering tomorrow actually. So we went around, we drove it on a stock file and it drove really, really nice honestly. And now it sounds amazing, it has the right tone. They're moving a whole car at one feet. So we did a lot of clear brow work on this car. We fixed some carbon fiber stuff on it. We did a lot of work on it. The hood latch was broken, fixed that as well. So yeah, really great looking car. Sounds great, performs well now. Customers gonna be super happy. But yeah, this is one of my favorite SVJs ever. And uh, we got our hands on it and we fixed it up. We made it better. So there you have it, another SVJ in the books. <laughs> Thank you.
whenever he talks, like you can't smell the alcohol. Whenever he talks, I can smell the fatness inside. <laughs> He's building a hotel. <laughs>